This is a Take 12 Recovery Radio Special Report. Well, greetings everyone. Monty Meyer here, a.k.a. The Monty Man, your host here at Take 12 Recovery Radio. This is a very special update and report that I bring to you with an extremely, well, a broken heart, really. If you remember yesterday's show, I requested prayer for our co-host, good friend and brother, Denver Wolf, as he was ailing, and we were hoping we could get him back into the studio as soon as possible uh, to be back on our broadcast. Well, shortly after the taping of yesterday's show, I received a phone call that no one wants to get. I was informed by a very dear friend of ours that Denver had passed away due to apparently complications with his heart. Now, I have been sitting here racking my brain through tears trying to figure out what to say to you all in tribute to our good friend, Denver. I, I'm still in shock. I'm still processing, as many of you may be. So I have, uh, I have written this out because I don't think I could get through it without reading it on paper. So bear with me if you would. As I sat here pondering how to write, what to write, or if I could even write, I remembered what my buddy Denver often said to me. Just don't complicate it. <laughs> so as I type my tribute to my friend, I will do my best to keep it simple. Well, I first met Denver when he was assigned to me as an intern in the education department of the Adult and Teen Challenge Ministry. The first day we worked together, I instinctively knew we were going to be close friends. His quirky manner of doing things, his dry humor, and his sarcastic pitch made a great fit between us. Both of us had no problem sharing what and how we felt about <laughs> everything. We were comrades in arms. Some of my fondest memories will be of the long road trips that we would take with each other, just he and I, to Spiritual Emphasis, an Adult and Teen Challenge retreat every year in Washington State. As our relationship grew, Denver would become my co-host on the Take 12 Recovery radio shows. Having Denver as my sidekick was definitely a kick in the pants. Witty, jovial, and tender-hearted would be his demeanor on every broadcast. For years, Denver and I traveled together throughout the Pacific Northwest, taking Recovery Radio to the recovery community and beyond. On several occasions, we would travel to Arizona to cover the Hope Fest and fellowship with the Adult and Teen Challenge Ministry there. When I traveled with Denver, I felt safe, bonded like two brothers on a mission for the cause of recovery through the power of God. The gentle way in which he would share with others the love of Jesus was a joy to watch and something I would grave, gravely miss. Well, like most of us, Denver had his difficulties, but was always willing to press in and move forward with a tenacity I will admire for years to come. My friend, though sarcastic in nature, always had an encouraging word for me, and though I'm sure he didn't know it, Denver in many ways carried the radio shows. To say that our shows will be forever different, forever changed, without our friend would be an understatement. I know that the entire Take 12 Recovery Radio family and our listeners will miss you, Denver, deeply. As I was wading through sound clips to consider using on this tribute, I found myself drawn back to the last show Denver co-hosted with me. I was taken back as I realized the topic for the broadcast was walking through grief. <laughs> Listen with me now as we hear a short segment 
of what Denver had to share on the topic. This whole topic could be a, a, a fireside chat for hours about, sure. about grieving. Yeah. From pet level to uh, to people to, to people level, everything there. To losing your property. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah the whole grieving All, thing is a big, big topic. Big topic. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, pets I've grieved over, humans I've grieved over. Uh, late payments I've grieved over, <laughs> you, you know, yeah, everything yeah. I have grieved Addiction. over. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the, the one thing that uh, has made grieving more, uh, no, manageable, not more, manageable, mm -hmm. is having a, a growing relationship with God. Yes, amen. It really has. I can't, yeah. I can't imagine not having a, uh, some kind of belief in a higher power and having to go through through grief i mean uh, long I before either. i came long before i came to uh acknowledge god mm -hmm. i still had some kind of spirituality in me mm -hmm. that helped me get through yeah you, you know I, it just uh that seed of faith that's planted in every man yeah yeah something there was there. something there yeah that carried me through 60 plus years now right so but uh, it, grief is an emotional roller coaster oh, ride. Oh man! I mean, there's when when you talk about grief, there's the sad time, and then there's also when you're grieving, you'll come upon uh, the moments when you're going, "Oh man, I remember that. That was good. That was yeah. that was fun. That yeah. was love. That was yep. you know joy." And and it's just like up and down, up and down, up and down. So yeah, it's a it's a big topic. Wow. Well, something many may not know about our friend is the amazing talent he had for creating leather goods, crafts, and trinkets made from the simple rocks and sticks he would collect while on his nature walks. Denver loved the simplicity of collecting rocks and beauty he saw in the simplest of things. Well, I simply could go on and on about my friend and wouldn't know where to stop. But I know many of you will have your own stories to remember Denver by, and I'm sure you will be sharing them for a very long time. I know I will. So, as I officially retire your microphone, I will say to you, Denver, you may not have made it to that palm tree in Mexico that you always talked about, but check you out, buddy. You've been upgraded to first class. Until next time, this is the Monty Man, and I am wishing God's perfect serenity for each and every one of you.